Hi, good morning YouTube. Sakpoi Mahalo here. Finally, an update of our dragon fruit in the backyard. This is, by the way, the Palora. As you can see, it's all deceased. But, it still gives fruit. So, right here. And there's the disease. I haven't taken it out. I did not kill the plant. So I'm just letting it grow. As you can see, there's a lot of new uh, fruit developing. But the good thing here about that, this palora that was started from seed is that you can see there's a nice uh, branches growing now. And this is from the one that all calloused uh, branch. You can see there. But there are new branches. A good, uh, so I don't know if this is gonna turn like this also. I'm hoping it won't. But that's the latest from this Palora. And this one here is the hybrid that I'm trying to grow. So it hasn't. It started to grow up, but wait, still waiting. No fruit yet, or even flower. So probably next year we'll see. So we'll have a different kind of fruit that's like a hybrid. And we'll find out what's going to be the, the fruit on that eventually. Here's another one of the Palora that was started from seed that was... Uh, has deceased I don't know what it is but as you can see this as well are growing new branches green new branches so only time will tell if these branches will turn into this kind of branches as well see so I did not take it out and replace it I just let it grow so now uh, it's growing new branches, which is good. And here is the other dragon fruit. There's a lot of fruit right here. It's pretty big. So, I think I the first uh, fruit that I harvested was last week. But only two. Because they're still... Uh, um ripening so this year is kind of late for the flowering season so right now i'm just starting to have the fruit uh, ripen if you can see here there's a lot of fruit although late for this year This one is ready to be harvested. See, there's a whole bunch of fruit. That one is ready for harvest as well. And these are just growing new uh, flowers. And some fruit. New flower buds. And fruit as well. And here's one of the avocado, if I can find it somewhere here. Oh, right here, the avocado. And that avocado tree has a lot of fruit as well. From this, uh, this avocado tree was started from seed. 
and some more still developing fruits and flowers that's all a mess <laughs> all right this one's gonna be ready tonight okay I'm still collecting pollens and I'm freezing them and I found out there's a study so actual study if you go Google Scholar you can see that the study or the experiment that they did that uh, using cross-pollination you can get bigger fruit with a weight going up or heavier the length is longer and the diameter is larger so and also the yield so if you go to go uh, Google Scholar and you search for dragon fruit you can see the study there so that's why I always say that to get bigger fruit you do cross pollinate pollination and of course when you do hand pollination you get better yield because you get more fruits from it that uh, develop instead of waiting for the bees so hand pollination by us people <laughs> will make the dragon fruit yield better so if you can see there's a, a lot of fruits right here very late for this year maybe because of the rain in California and there's some more there if you can see those uh, brown things that means there's fruit there so fruit 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 everywhere fruit and new flowers and then this one here are new flowers as well and fruit This one is dying, but I'm just letting it grow. And uh, the yellow, what do you call that? The Israel golden yellow. So they're giving out the flower buds this time. And this one is also Israel golden yellow. So... I've been, been really taking care of the backyard because I'm going to school right now. Alright, some more fruits. It's pretty big. You can see, uh, you won't be able to see the fruit because they're still green. But there's also a lot of flowers right here more flower buds or oh, this one's starting to get I uh, cross pollinated that so a lot of flower buds too oh, this one's not going to make it you can tell X uh, probably about in about five days that if it's not been pollinated or fertilized. And right there, that's uh, a lot of flower buds and fruits. This one is Israel Golden Yellow. And 
the guava is uh, giving flower as well now. All right. Oh, here's some more here. These are the bigger ones. They get really, really big. not fertilized and we're gonna use it as fertilizer okay that's it and what else I forgot what the name of this is oh the fig there's a lot of fig uh, fruit developing as well And of course the mandarin. We got mandarin. That's a lot of mandarins. Okay. That's it for now. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye bye.